Let me start by thanking His Excellency Jean-François Cotin, uh, Ambassador of the European Union to Pakistan and the Chairman of uh, Rural Support Program, Mr. Shoaib Sultan Khan, and his team for organizing this conference and for providing me with the opportunity to share with you my ideas on community-driven development. Uh, I have heard the wish list of uh, Shweb Saab, even though he's like a guru, that wish list is very difficult. I shall come to that, the reasons why in a minute. Uh, and I want to discuss the role played by BISP for promotion of community development, especially for the rights of marginalized and underprivileged segments of our society. So on behalf of Government Pakistan, I also welcome our distinguished guests from India and Afghanistan and Tajikistan. The, community, uh, the concept of community-driven de uh, development is not new to us. Uh, 1400 years ago, Prophet uh, Muhammad, peace be upon him, gave the concept of Hukukul Ibad, rights of people, and gave preference to rights of people over the rights of others. The, right, the word Islam derives from the Salam, which means peace, safety, and tranquility, and without peace and safety, there can be no development. For community development, Islam gives the right of privacy, rights of neighbor, and even the rights of animals and plants. The, world, the word community has two connotations. First is the territorial and geographical notion of community, like neighborhood, town, and city. The second is relational, concerned with quality of character of human relationship without reference to location. The definition of community encompasses four elements. The first element is membership. Membership is a feeling of belonging or of sharing a sense of personal relatedness. The second element is influence, a sense of mattering, of making a difference to a group and of the group mattering to its members. The third element is reinforcement, integration and fulfillment of needs. This is a feeling that members' needs will be met by the recourses received, resources received through their membership in the group. The last element is shared emotional connection. The commitment and belief that members have shared and will share history, commonplace, time together and similar experiences. BISP is a community of 7 million families, out of which 5.2 million families, women, are getting direct cash transfers. Um, and this is kind of breaking news uh, today, hopefully uh, within a day or two, um, Sardar Saab and Shweb Saab, we will be hitting the 5.2 million number, which is a big number for us. Uh, 5.2 million women getting cash uh, through uh, electronic payments is no small deal. Uh, it is giving them sustenance. We don't do poverty alleviation. We don't do poverty reduction. Shweb Saab is absolutely right in telling me off all the time. He is my guru in any case, you can tell me off in any case, but we do poverty management and we are very glad that we do poverty management. Uh, presently, the government's initiatives to ensure peace and stability, um, we are fighting with the menace of terrorism, extremism on all fronts, which is why this is even more important. BISP is the flagship social sector initiative of the country, providing sustenance to the poorest of the poor people of the society through supporting them uh, in cer certain cases in skill development programs of cash grants. Thus, BISP is not only providing the fish to the needy as its short-term strategy, but also enhancing their capacity to learn to catch a fish as its long-term strategy. They are helping them become responsible, self-reliant members of society. For the sake of community development, this focuses on the marginalized segments of the society, especially women empowerment, as discrimination against women can best be dealt with by empowering them socially, politically and economically. Currently, BISP is extending its cash transfer, like I said, to 5.2. Uh, the government of Pakistan, the PML and government, under the leadership of uh, Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif mm -hmm. and of course the Finance Minister Isaac Dar is has increased the budget of this from 40 billion to 102 billion rupees and we are giving 1500 per month as most of you would know uh, which is uh, a quarterly payment. The graduation strategies that we are working on, the main one that we are extremely pl proud of, the one uh, we just did a launch in Tata, largest women jalsa possible in the history of, of this country, at least 25,000 women gathered for education, uh, is the Vasile Tadim or the co-responsibility cash transfer program for education. This. Uh, we're going to be hitting the 1 million marks uh, soon by the end of this year. That's our target, Sir Tarsal, inshallah ta'ala, we will meet our target for 1 million by the end of December. And that's a lot of children going to school and not out in the streets and not out uh, in the la child labor, doing child labor. So significant contribution of this as well. Other than that, um, um, I think the most important is um, the reason why we are internationally acclaimed is uh, we concentrate on women, most programs are joint, 
this is women empowerment. We have close to 47,000 and we have a target, um, Shred Saab and Sardar Saab, of reaching 50,000 Miss Beneficiary communities. We can use these and we are using these communities to do major empowerment efforts through street theatre and through other uh, mechanisms which illiterate women would understand best. The second uh, USP that we have is, uh, the, like I said, the payment mechanism. We have tried everything, from postman to uh, BDCs to mobile phone banking. We now come to the conclusion that the best mechanism is biometric, in which l less pilferage happens, less uh, mafia takes advantage of our women. I think if uh, we have our biggest contribution also happens to be the political empowerment that we have given our women. 5.2 million women as a result of getting this funds also have CNICs. When they have CNICs, they have a right to vote. When they have a right to vote, they are politically empowered. Now I want to come to the most important part of uh, today's uh, address. I've been given a challenge by my gurus, uh, well, one specifically. And uh, he wants the one billion dollars to go into community driven. Uh, we as a government believe, uh, whilst it is important that we should have community driven development, uh, we cannot solely be looking at community driven development uh, in terms of uh, the agenda for the BMLN government. This sustenance, this poverty management is really critical because these people um, are below the poverty line. And if they don't even get this cash in their hand, then their nutritional needs will not be handled. I have seen certain evidences which suggest otherwise, but the government of Pakistan is committed to giving con uh, unconditional cash transfers. However, we will be working, and that's the good news I have for you. We will be working, and I made this very clear in my other addresses and my other uh, media addresses as well, that we will be working with um, a, a community-driven uh, organizations in order to do graduation. We have already taken 24,000, uh, and Amjad Saab is sitting right here in the, in the, in the audience, uh, Prime Minister interest-free loan, etc., and interest-free loans from Khuvad, etc. 24,000 women of BISP uh, are taking this loan and are graduating out of poverty. I think the point that uh, uh, um, Shweb Saab, our, our guru, not just my guru, our guru, uh, wishes to make is that we need to get them to graduate out of poverty. We can't continue with the cycle of just feeding them every three months. So I, we agree with that. For now, we want to do poverty management and at the same time, side by side, we want to do uh, graduation. So the graduation will happen along with partners like yourself, along with partners who are sitting here. And we are extremely keen that um, fresh budgets, new budgets, philanthropist budgets, um, additional budgets are given for that activity. And I think there is no better uh, demonstration that I have seen. Uh, I have been extremely impressed with two uh, on-ground, uh, community-driven uh, development programs. One is Senso. Um, I was um, told to reach Sakhar on Eid by Shred Saab, and I did, uh, last Eid. And I saw these incredible, uh, I must talk about these incredible women who had uh, taken advantage of, um, of this entire program. They were incredible. They are leaders. They are women, and they are empowered. And to me, they are heroes. And the reason they are heroes is because they are confident they are confident, not just in the sense of, okay, they have a little bit more cash in their pockets. Uh, they're BIS beneficiaries as well. So they're getting the advantage of this and they're getting the advantage of this community-driven program. Uh, BIS gives them sustenance, just to head, have their head above the water. Because they're otherwise sinking under the water. So the government of Pakistan has this, the state has a responsibility to give them that basic sustenance. And I will stand by that statement. But what community driven programs, what Sensor was giving, was a sense of uh, financial empowerment which made them confident, confident to the extent of solving jirgas in areas like Kashmir and Kankot of Sen. Now that is not a small thing. Confident of doing policing on the roads of Kashmir and Kankot, which even the police cannot do. Confident of managing their communities. 
I was extremely impressed by them. I want, we want as BIS to be a part of it. We are going to be a part of it. We are keeping budget specially for that. So that's the good news. And secondly, what I was, yes. I mean, I can't explain. I think you need to meet these women and we will get them, BIS will get them to Islamabad, BIS will get them to the conventions in the civil center. BIS wants them to be the heroes of Pakistan. Because the way they have managed through, their, uh, through this entire effort that Shweb Saab has spoken to you about um, has made them financially, politically, socially completely empowered. The second thing I was extremely impressed about was my recent uh, visit uh, to Thar, where I saw the PPAF interest-free loan program working. With a little bit of interest-free loan, not much, 20,000, they're able to change their lives, and that's called graduation. And those are also BIS beneficiaries. So BIS is partnering in graduation strategies. That's the news I have for you, ladies and gentlemen. BIS does poverty management, and BIS does partnership on graduation policies. That's what we do. That's what our mission is. Our mission as approved by the Prime Minister and the Finance Minister and also uh, by my very close advisor and my gurus, both of them sitting right here on the dais, is that we must give our women dignity, empowerment and meaning to life. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to end my speech here because protocol-wise, it's very wrong that my speech came after uh, the, the, uh, the Foreign Minister. But uh, I just want to say that we are very focused on these three things. And together with our basic cash, unconditional cash grant, and with our graduation strategies, and with work, collaboration with organizations sitting on the dais, we intend doing that. We have examples from our neighborhood. We must learn from each other. We must collaborate and learn from each other. We have political tensions, but Sir Tar Saab is sitting there and managing that. So, uh, inshallah, it's going to be a good week for, uh, for, for the government of Pakistan. We're hosting a big conference. We wish uh, the Foreign Ministry all the best in that Heart of Asia for, uh, uh, conference. But let me assure you, this will give dignity, empowerment, and meaning to life to our women. And we will do it together. Thank you very much.